My name is Michael Staven. I'm the principal author of the Olinda EXM personal computer software for internal dose calculations. Olinda was developed in around 2004 as a successor to the MergDose computer code. Its principal uses are in calculating standardized dose estimates for radiopharmaceuticals, may be used in teaching and research uh, for comparison of radiopharmaceutical dose estimates. The main strengths of the code or the main features of the code is that it facilitates dose calculations. They can be very tedious to do by hand and it makes them very quick with a little bit of input data. And it standardizes them so that everybody gets the same results given the same input data. Uh, and it has uh, standardized fandoms that are, that are accepted and used worldwide. Anyone that uh, needs radiopharmaceutical dosimetry, and usually it's folks that are developing new radiopharmaceuticals. Any new radiopharmaceutical or any pharmaceutical radiopharmaceutical that you want to calculate doses for, at a minimum has four or five uh, organs that concentrate uh, the, the radiopharmaceutical. So you have to take um, the time integrals of those uh, kinetic data, and then you multiply those by dose factors to get the dose to other organs, but you're always interested in the dose to about 20 to 25 organs. So you have to do that 20 to 25 times. You have to do four or five or more calculations by hand, taking these dose factors and multiplying by the time activity integrals, and that's what Olinda does for you. It has all the dose factors stored, uh, or actually calculates them for you on the fly. But the hard work, once you do that kinetic data analysis, Doing the next part by hand is extremely tedious and error prone, and Alinda uh, takes away that tedium, takes away the chance for uh, errors to creep in, and applies standardized corrections that are needed, which many people uh, do not know how to do themselves. The, the code is so easy to use. It's very user-friendly and pretty obvious. We don't get a lot of complaints about the software. The, the main thing people sometimes have struggled with Alinda is just getting it installed because uh, invoking the Java compiler is a little tricky. Uh, I think I have a better installer uh, for the next version here. But you don't get a lot of feedback, except uh, sometimes uh, somebody will see me personally and tell me how much they like the code and how much they use it. The Murdo software was out on the market for a number of years when the FDA suddenly recognized that people were using it for therapy and then it suddenly became a medical device. But I was already working on a new version, which I called Olinda, and so Murdos became the uh, predecessor for Olinda, and Olinda got a, a 510K clearance uh, through the uh, FDA uh, device process. You can submit your own dose calculations if you'd like, but if you submit your dose calculations based on Olinda, they know immediately what they're getting, they know immediately how everything was done, and they, it, it makes their life a little bit easier in the review process as they don't have to review your dose calculations, and they, they generally Again, they don't tell people you have to use Olinda, but they certainly say if you do, it's going to make our lives easier and your approval process faster. Olinda 1.0 and 1.1, they were mildly different, just a couple of minor fixes after it went on the market. Really was not different than Murdose in technology. It was the same standard body models, we call them phantoms, radionuclides and so on were the same. Um, but version 2 has uh, a few more nuclides. It has around 1,000. Uh, Olinda 1.1 has around 800. That's not a big change. The big change is in the body phantoms that we're using for uh, adults and children and pregnant females. Uh, the new models are based on realistic uh, voxel-based models that are anatomically more correct. Uh, and we also have some animal models now. We didn't have that ever before. Uh, we, used animals to figure out how much activity would occur in humans, but we never calculated dose to the animals themselves. We now have uh, eight different rodent models. You can actually calculate dose to the rodents if you have some interest in doing that. The next generation of, of dosimetry code uh, uses patient individualized image data. You take actual images from the patient, uh, and use them to calculate three-dimensional maps of dose. Olinda, as the name, you probably don't know, but the name is Organ Level Internal Dose Assessment, it just does whole organ doses, which is fine, for certainly for new radiopharmaceuticals. 
I think it's fine in the clinic because you can adjust the organ masses uh, to those of your patient if you know that from a CT and that's pretty good dosimetry. What I'd like to see uh, developing and we're actually have a developed code is again this patient individualized medicine taking this patient's images getting this patient's doses and at a th in a 3D uh, format not just dose to the whole organ but a map of radiation dose uh, within the organ. When you're doing diagnostic stuff every day you just need standardized dose estimates and you rarely think about dosimetry for a a day-to-day -day diagnostic agent. It's not usually important. But in therapy, I think we, we plan therapy for all of our external dose patients. We plan, we're doing a lot of patient individualized medicine, tailoring drug administrations to people's genetic history and so on. And I'm, I'm optimistic that it's going to happen someday. <laughs>